Doctor, we couldn't save his hand in the surgery. We're sorry. Woman, you said he was going to be all right. Well, his left hand is gone, so he's going to be all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I've heard the topic of meme review get thrown around, and I found out that PewDiePie was the one who made meme reviews popular. I asked you guys to send me the funniest medical memes. Be <laughs> All right, this is your spine. Me, what the f Put it back. If I come up to my patient, I'm like, this is your spine, and they say put it back, I will cry. It just, it's the, it's the truth of the matter. When a new patient doesn't remember the names of their medications, you gotta give them the judgmental Justin Timberlake eyes, sleeping positions of different professionals, and then the doctor is on call in the ER. No, but seriously, I feel like whenever I was on call for a 24 hour shift, I would only be in the bed and you can catch me in the bed for like 15 minutes at a time. <laughs> you got Targaryen lady, Daenerys, Delirious, Delirious. He's refused to call me queen. And you have RNA and DNA. RNA is single stranded like her hair, even though that's not really a single strand, but it looks like one. And then DNA is a double helix. Well, you see doc, the problem is obesity runs in my family. Doctor, no, the problem is nobody runs in your family. Family. Not everyone's obesity is a result of them being sedentary. In fact, the biggest problem when it comes to obesity is nutrition. I broke my arm in three places. Doctor, well don't go to those places, I love it. I've made this joke to my patients before. I have to admit it, they weren't happy with me. Show up 15 minutes late, they cancel your appointment. Show up on time to the doctor, you're waiting an hour. My man Denzel knows what's up. We want to give patients the appropriate amount of time that they need for their given appointments, right? So if you come 15 minutes late, you're actually impeding on the time of someone else's appointment. You're healthy as a horse, me. Great. A horse with cancer, what a mean spirited. I feel like there should be a horse somewhere in this picture. Is there one? No, no horse. She's just a little paranoid. Her shift is quiet and going smoothly, so she thinks it's the coming of the apocalypse. Us healthcare professionals, we are superstitious. We don't like saying the Q word. I have said it before, I wish I didn't. Six, seven admissions, two rapid responses, one code blue, and obviously I didn't get any sleep, and I was like that last meme where the doctor is not in his bed. Performs life-saving 12-hour surgery. Patient thanks God. I wanna live to be 100 years old. Anti-vax mom, three. <laughs> even, yes. Why is on one hand, when I'm in the ER, I'm saving you, and then when your child comes to see me in the office, I'm poisoning them with neurotoxins. So I heard that you two finally tied the clot. Sure did. Coagulations. Actually, platelets are involved in the clot, and there's no platelets here. Actually, is that a platelet? I don't know, it kind of looks like it's just a red blood cell. Ever find yourself admiring a stranger's veins? Hap so Loopy. Right next to him should be like Ronnie Coleman. If you don't know who Ronnie Coleman is, that's Ronnie Coleman. This guy has like garden hoses for veins. Expectations versus reality. Going to the doctors with Instagram knowledge. This is me. I can't react to this. All people are beautiful. Headache. Normal person, I didn't sleep well. Medical student, I have intracranial hematoma. Med students, because we're constantly learning about certain illnesses, the symptoms at one point or another will match up with something that you're having or experiencing and you think you have the worst possible scenario. Just because it's like front of mind, top tip of, tip of tongue, front of mind, I don't know the expression. Doctor, looks like you don't have any health insurance so we're gonna let you die. Okay, fantastic, thank you. We don't let our patients die when they don't have insurance. In fact, in my hospital where I work, we have a charity care system in place for this exact reason to make sure people get covered if they don't have enough money to pay for insurance. My face when I've been admitted and someone tells me to get well soon. What? How to figure out a doctor's handwriting, medical alphabet. This is me. People have been telling me this since I was in third grade and I was getting like C's in penmanship. Don't worry, I practiced it on a mannequin once. <laughs> this is so true. Nowadays what we do is we make sure we bring in a senior doctor who has done this enough, is clear to do it, will now watch this person perform the procedure and sign off each time they do it until they get the required numbers in. I would have loved if this meme said, don't worry, I practiced it on Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> chop, chop. No, 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 I don't mean to chop his lungs. What did the surgeon say to the patient who insisted on closing up his own incision? Suit yourself. 
it's okay. When your 24 hour shift is finally over, but you see a critical patient being wheeled in, yeah. When I was young, I decided to go to medical school. At the entrance exam, we were asked to rearrange the letters P-N-E-I-S and form the name of an important human body part which is most useful when erect. Those who answered spine are doctors <laughs> today while the rest are on Facebook. Is it bad that I wasn't thinking spine? I totally wasn't thinking spine. I feel like this was a trick question and I don't think this is accurate. So if you thought what I thought and you know what you thought, just be okay with it. Super freak. Welcome to the medical field where any day is a work day and the holidays don't matter. So true. Whose line is it anyway? One of the greatest shows of all time. But yeah, any work day, every day is a work day and holidays definitely don't matter. In fact, Christmas is right around the corner and guess what? I'm gonna be working multiple days, especially after Christmas, so. When you realize that you still have over 1,000 slides to study for the exam and it's 1 a.m., <laughs> I'm fine. This is how I study. I know people say cramming is bad and it is for most people. Unless I study for a short period of time, I could not do it for a lot of tests. I, like for the big ones, I obviously studied. But for the majority of my tests, when it was the weekend before, I just got in the zone, man. Roses are red, it's hot like hell. Mitochondria? It's the energy center of the cell. So it's like roses are red, it's hot like hell, the energy center of the cell? Eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. Asks you where it hurts, then puts pressure on it. <laughs> <laughs> we want to localize your pain. We want to see what part of the anatomy is actually hurting. Distinguish if it's bone, neuro pain. Is it the same type of pain that you're complaining about? Or is this a new pain that I've discovered? Because there's a difference between tenderness and pain. And it's a very important distinction. Antibiotics from Mexico, my throat infection. <laughs> Extra. I had plenty of time to look over the results. Are they good? I don't know. Didn't look at them. <laughs> I have to admit I've done this before. So the results that we get usually, if something is abnormal, they get highlighted right away so it jumps at your attention. If I see that there's nothing abnormal and the patient isn't coming in for another week, and I know it's not urgent, I, I will say a line like this. I have like, oh, I, I saw your lab results. And then my patient's like, well, how, how are they? I'm like, well, let's take a look at them together <laughs> because I totally didn't pay attention. I don't remember exactly what the labs were. Thank you, student loans, for helping me get through medical school. I don't think I can ever repay you. <laughs> they definitely help you get through med school because when you go through year one and year two, you're usually around $100,000 in debt at that point. So guess what? If year three starts going not so well, you have a fire lit behind you where you're like, oh man, I'm 100,000 in debt, and if I fail out now, I'm in trouble. So they do help you get through med school, and I hope you can repay them. How you actually look versus how you look in your hospital badge photo. I don't know what it is. The cameras that we use in the hospitals to take our photo IDs look like they're like Polaroids from the 1960s. I hope I'm not getting that wrong. It just, the quality is bad. It changes the dimensions of your face. So tell me everything you told the nurse five minutes ago. <laughs> actually, Gabby Hanna just told me this the other day. She said that- Do doctors actually read the charts? Because I say hard no. I worked last week on a long shift and I walked into a room where the nurse told me some brief details about the patient. I totally forgot them because I got caught up doing something else. And I again walked in, I said, hey, so tell me what seems to be the problem. And I thought about Gabby and I was like, mm. Now I know why they think we sometimes don't read the chart. Do you think this puppy is adorable? Well, he used to be like this big, 20 pounds. Click here for his puppy video. As always, stay happy and healthy.